Okay, uh, hot off the presses, the Chargers are keeping North Turner and A.J. Smith as general manager. <laughs> this is just fucking hilarious. Um, I don't know what to say to you Charger fans. Um, ha ha, you get what you deserve. Uh, you support suck. You continue continue to support suck, and this is the result. So, as I open up this Budweiser, I'd like to propose a toast to the San Diego Chargeless not going to the playoffs once again next year. Uh, last year, I think I gave them uh, an eight and eight record, and I think they made it. I think I did it again this year. Uh, I gotta do. I'm gonna do a separate video on uh, how close I came. Um, I'll do that probably later on today or tomorrow or whenever. I'm in no real big hurry to get that out. But I think I gave them an eight and eight record this year, and I think they went eight and eight, if I'm not mistaken. But a toast to Chargeless fans. <sighs> Drowned your sorrows, guys. Anyways, uh, I, w I won the last week of the football pool, surprisingly. Uh, came down to me and Kitty, came down to the Giants game. Everybody took the Giants, so I didn't have to worry about that. It came down to tiebreaker. I picked 45 points, and it was exactly 45. Um, I don't know how I pulled that out, out of my ass, but I did. And I won the only week this year. Which is good. Um, let's see here. You guys, as you guys know, we are going into the playoffs. About three people have given me their picks. And then later on uh, in this video, later on today when my buddy Art gets here, I'm going to videotape him uh, giving you guys his picks. So that would be kind of cool. Art is a good friend of mine from YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I've known him for about two and a half years now. I've never met him. Today will be the first time I meet him. We're going to sit down and drink some beer and bullshit. So this will be fun. Um, looking forward to uh, meeting him finally. He's a hell of a guy. Go check out his link. I'll link you to his uh, his uh, page. Or his, his channel, I mean. Uh, down below. And uh, what can I say, man? Um... Let's see here. Here, let's talk about last week's games. Let's let's talk about the uh, the breakdown. Um, week seventeen, and this was on New Year's Day, as you know. Uh, New Orleans kicked the shit out of Carolina. Uh, I still don't see Breeze getting the MVP. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, well, hats off to the New Orleans Saints and Drew Brees. Uh, I just, I don't see myself being wrong. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a Packer fan. Um, I just, as a football fan, I don't see it, though. Any decision, any, any of my opinions usually are pretty objective. Um, just because I'm a, a Packers fan doesn't mean that... Everything that comes out of my mouth is pro Packers. Yes, a lot of it is, but they can back the shit up, you know? I can talk shit and I can back it up as a fan. So anyways, New Orleans beat the shit out of Carolina. New England trounced Buffalo. Um, Chicago barely beat Minnesota. Uh, Miami upset the Jets. Not really an upset. <laughs> Uh, Frisco barely beat St. Louis. I don't know what was going on in that game. I think that could spell trouble for San Francisco. However, I, because I didn't watch all the games, I, I don't know the information on, on all the games, uh, San Francisco very well could have been like Green Bay and sat some players. I don't know. That had, might have had something to do with it. Seeing that, it was basically a worthless game. Kind of. I mean, they were shooting for second seed and they got it, but... Anyways, Green Bay 
Wow. I wish I would have seen this game. All I can say is, fuck you, Nadamigan Sue. You are a fucking immature, spoiled piece of shit. You think that you would have learned. Now, I'm not pissed as a Packers fan. No, no. I don't give a fuck about that. He can talk all the shit he wants against the Packers. Uh, you guys are one and done when you go to the St. Louis, uh, New Orleans Saints uh, next week. It just, it amazes me. The guy got a two-week suspension for stomping on a Packers player, and now he's going to pull this fucking booyah bullshit? Dude, your team lost. It sucks. We swept you. We swept you for 20-some fucking years in Lambeau Field. You're going to do the belt. What are you, fucking moron? Get the fuck out of here. You know, fucking Detroit. I used to, I, at the beginning of the season, I had quite a bit of respect for Detroit. I pretty much lost it all. Um, Philly knocked off Washington. Uh, Jacksonville beat Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Tennessee barely beat Houston. Oh my God, I watched the end of that play, or that, that game. I took Houston. I was so fucking pissed for about 10 or 15 minutes, man. I, they, I understand that they didn't want to go into overtime and risk injury to players. I understand that. But still, play for some fucking pride, man. You guys are one and done. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I might take you next week. I don't know. I, per usual, I'll be making my picks Friday. Anything I talk now, I could be just talking on my ass. Who knows? I do that from time to time. Uh, Arizona beat Seattle in overtime. Yeah, baby. I love it. Uh, I took Arizona for the win. Uh, Kansas City knocked over Denver. Uh, I guess God was off the fucking... He was on the other line. Um, Atlanta beat Tampa Bay. That wasn't a shocker. Baltimore beat Cincinnati. I took Cincinnati and... Uh, I don't, oh God, I don't know why. Um, I should have taken Baltimore, but you know what? Balt all Baltimore's losses came against teams... Uh, with a losing record. And Cincinnati is just like Baltimore, very mediocre. These are going to be some good playoff games. Uh, Pittsburgh knocked off Cleveland barely. Um, I think Pittsburgh is going to, is going to beat Denver. Something just tells me. Again, I could be wrong. I might change my mind. San Diego knocked over Oakland. Oakland just looked pathetic. I took Oakland as a spoiler. Um, it is what it is. And then the, uh, the Giants over Dallas. Uh, Romo the homo shines through yet again. I thought it was a fantastic ending to a fantastic season. Uh, overall, I'm glad I didn't boycott the NFL this year. Um, I would have missed out on some great games. So now on to... Next week's games. Uh, let's see here. Okay, these are the games for next week. Cincinnati at Houston. Detroit at New Orleans. Atlanta at Giants. Pittsburgh at Denver. Looking at these games, Cincinnati and the Houston game is going to be a real hard game to call. That's going to be a toss-up. Detroit at New Orleans, no contest. Detroit is done. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. I did say at the beginning of the year and at the end of last year that Detroit would be going farther this year. They did that. That's okay. Um... Atlanta at New York Giants. That's going to be a tough one. Um, Atlanta was pretty much on fire this weekend. But so are the Giants. That's going to be another tough one. Pittsburgh at Denver. i got to go with Pittsburgh at this point. I mean, it's only Tuesday. And I make my picks in three days. So something could come along and make me change my mind. I don't know. Fucking Roethlisberger might be fucking walking at home and step in a pile of dog shit and slip and break his fucking leg. I don't know. So, 
those are the games. Um, I'm gonna be putting up here in a second, or as I as I edit this, I'm gonna be putting up uh, uh, the weeks one through seventeen winners, and then after that, in no particular, well, uh, I'll go according to um, the win record. Now these are not final totals, so just because your name is first does not mean you won the pool because of the playoffs. So I'm putting, uh, I'll go by win total, and I'm also including a note of the weeks played, just so people get a perspective. And the reason I'm doing that is because, like, uh, Lily Johnson, um, Lily Johnson, I believe, went 123 and 133. Now, the reason that she has more losses than wins is because she skipped three weeks. It's not that she's that bad. So... That's pretty much it. Um, there you go. And then I'm going to come back later and when I'll edit together, I'll put in uh, art giving everybody's uh, predictions. So. All right, I'm with my buddy Art. Uh, like I said before, I'm gonna post a link to his channel down in the Ender Bar. This guy's awesome. He's my cameraman right now, and I'm about to uh, videotape him uh, reading everybody's picks. Kind of a guest uh, collaboration, so to speak, without the collaboration part, really. <laughs> but uh, I wish everybody luck in the wild card round. Uh, things are getting intense right now, especially after my week 17 win in the football pool. 
So we'll see how it goes. And uh, over to you, Art. I'm going to videotape you reading everybody's, uh, at least everybody that got me their picks, which is only three people. But I'm going to videotape you uh, reading them out. Sort of a guest reading, so to speak. Three people? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Exactly. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, man. Three people, you know? It's like, come on. There's 14 people in our, in our group. <laughs> I got all turned around. Uh, okay. There you go. You want to you sit down? No, no. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and actually stand on the leg Oops. that I just broke. <laughs> hey, okay. Let me uh, <laughs> zoom out here for a second. All right. Whenever you're ready. All right. Okay, so I just read the list. Yep, just Sweet. read the list. All right, so Zach Cush, Atlanta, New Orleans, Denver, Cincinnati. I just keep going. Do I repeat yep. that? Yep. Okay, awesome. That's cool. Lily Johnson, Cincinnati, Denver Broncos, New Orleans, and New York. Brian Rizudic. Rizudic. <laughs> New Orleans, Atlanta, <laughs> Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati. And there you have it, guys. And those are your picks for the day. I'm Art Fusco, and that's Pete. Oh, yeah. Right here. See? Right here. And this is Obama beer. Obama beer. Yeah, I just learned that today. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the, the beer summit beer. That's, this is what Obama chose to drink at the beer summit. <laughs> any, any words on the caucus tonight? Go Ron Paul. Thank you. Thank you. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Thank you. He's gonna kick some ass. I Hopefully so. in about in about an hour or so. I know. I'm I'm waiting to hear about the news about that. <laughs> I'll turn it on in just a second. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, shot glass you want? This looks great. That's the one I use. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Plus, it looks kind of classy. Can you handle a shot? I can handle. It. Can you handle? I have a shot. Can you? Can you want? You want to go back and watch my videos? That was a joke, by the way. That's right. There you go. Awesome. All right. This is a uh, Pampers Foo School collaboration. <laughs> Pampers Pete and Art Foo School, believe it or not. We're here together, we're having a shot. I've been drinking beer with this guy for about five or six hours. Something about that. This guy is awesome. Watch his videos. That's awesome. I, 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 I would like to say I've known this guy for like two years, and we've been talking on Facebook and on YouTube for the last three years. Something like that. And, 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 and this is the first time we've actually met person, so I, I find it an honor. It is. It is an honor. You ready? Yep.